welcome to Pai Tong, a famous little hotel resort town on the west side of Phuket. It's famous for beer bars, nightlife, massage parlors. I thought we'd spend the day checking it out. If you want to feel the sand under your feet, smell the fresh sea breeze and have the sun kiss your face, then Patong Beach is going to be your first stop. A word of warning however, on billboards and postcards you'll see young, beautiful, sexy people on the sand and playing in the water, where in reality you get overweight, middle-aged men in their speedos. You may have noticed this mark on my neck. Now being in Patong, you would be right to think that it's a love bite. Unfortunately, it's not that glamorous. It's just a rancid pimple. For about a hundred baht a day, you can hire a sun chip. Prime location, although You'll have local merchants continuously trying to sell you things. Sun cream, drinks, food, even beachwear. I'm alright bro. How much? Four you thousand baht. Thousand baht? Yes. The jet ski, one thousand. Yes. Oh, Half hour. Alright, maybe tomorrow bro. I'll check it out. Thank you though. You'll see quite a lot of adventure sport parasailing, jet skiing. Although, you have to be careful with the pricing. In areas like Patong, it can be a tourist trap. Your best bet is to talk to your hotel to get you the best price. I think that's enough sun for one afternoon. Let's leave the beach, head into Patong town. Welcome to Bang La, Patong's most famous street. During the day, you'll find restaurants, souvenir shops, and suit tailors. But by night, it transforms itself into one of Thailand's most notorious red light districts and party hubs. Let's check it out. Some knickknacks you'll find on Bang La. Got keychains, shop glasses, Bottle openers, fridge magnets, the usual. I'll think, I'll think, I'll think. So this suit here, 4,000 bucks? Yes. Okay. will go. This so is the middle one. Middle one, what's yes. low quality? How low, much could I get? Low quality, low quality you can get like, you know, we can use three kind of quality. Oh. With uh, China one, mm -hmm. uh, with the local one, and best one is Italian. We put always Italian material because it's now really popular. So how much for Italian? Italian you can get 8,000. Whatever you're into, Bang La probably has it. If you like the Dubliners, you got your Irish bar there. If you're into cold chisel, you got your Aussie bar here. And further down the line, I got a reggae bar. Plenty of Bob Marley and Ziggy to go around. Every bar in the evening, we have about five or six girls calling foreigners and tourists in. The trick is to get them to buy drinks not only for themselves, but for the girl as well. And if the girl likes you, you then have the option to take her home. And that was Bangla Road. I might try and get back here during the night. Although, I'm gonna have to see how the lighting equipment holds up. Anyway, let's crack on, see what we can find. If our silver-haired, speedo-wearing divorcee strikes out on Bang La, he'll often migrate to a side street like this. Where he can receive a 200 baht oil massage. So 
Sorry, Carl. Uh, no, I'm all right, thank you. A lot of these establishments can be very misleading. A couple at my hotel wanted a nice romantic evening together. They decided to get a massage. They found an establishment with this sign in the door. How wrong they were. And that wraps up our day in Patong. We got to see the beauties and the horrors found at the beach. We got an education on Bangla Road and we discovered why oil massages are so popular. So until next time guys, Sadiqa.